Good afternoon, you two pipe smokers. So, just left work. I haven't been doing many videos. Been a little hectic at the shop. These short weeks really kill you. You know, it's nice to have some time off, but... You know, when you own a business, let me tell you what that one holiday does for you. First of all, it breaks up the week. And not in a good way, because you have X amount of work to get out, and now you're doing it on a short week. But here's the other bigger problem. That most people don't understand, unless you're in it, a situation where you realize. So now you try to order parts, so I'll have them Friday so we can finish some jobs. Well, first of all, everybody starts to leave early Wednesday. So now the transmission parts business is very complicated to order parts. You get accustomed to certain salesmen, they're accustomed to my style, I'm accustomed to theirs. So we sort of have a good rapport, so they know what I'm talking about when I say a certain part. Because many parts go under multiple names between manufacturers. So direct clutch, in other words, for uh, a BMW is different than a direct clutch in, let's say, a Chevy. It has different meanings, different... So once you get a rapport with a certain salesman, they know how you communicate and we understand one another and you get the right parts. So the first problem is, now you place an order with a guy you don't normally place an order with. And everybody's rushing around trying to get out for the holiday. So what happens? Friday comes, wrong parts in the box. Okay, so no big deal. Now you're a, a day delayed. So now you call up Friday, but guess what? Many places took a long weekend. So normally I would place an order on Friday night. Believe it or not, the system that we have, they drop off the parts Friday night about 9 o'clock. We have a drop box and they put the parts in the box. They're not open, so I can't get the parts now until Monday night. So now I'm a day behind. And that's if they have the parts in stock to begin with. So that one little holiday that we take off has a repercussion of three to four days it affects you in the business. And now you have to play catch up for the following week. And believe it or not, it takes about a week before you get back to normal again. And bear in mind now, you're dealing with customers that expected their car in X amount of days. Now you have to call them up and tell them what happened. And many people understand, but there's always the once in a while case where the people get frustrated, I get frustrated, the workers get frustrated because now we're extra busy, we're running behind and all because of that one little holiday it sets you back almost a week believe it or not in some cases so it's one of the many 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 downsides of owning your own business One would think, after doing it for 25 or 30 years, you get used to it. Well, you know, you, even though I know it happens, you never really get used to it, and it's hard to accept. 
it's not that you can change it, because um, you can't plan ahead. You know, years ago, that's a big difference between business nowadays and years ago. The transmission business 20 years ago is very different. 20 years ago, there were maybe 10 different transmissions. And you could almost set your watch by what trannies are going to come through the door that week. Now, it's a whole different ball game. Now you still have the older cars, you got the newer cars, you got hybrid cars, you got the six speed, seven, eight speed, the old three speeds, the four speeds, the standards, all the different makes and models. It's impossible to keep every part on hand. So it creates a very stressful environment. And when there's a holiday involved, it creates it worse. And now we come into the hotter months, it's hard to work in 90 degree weather, even though my shop is air conditioned. But that comes at a cost also, the electric bill goes up a good 300 a month. And it's just, um, makes life very interesting at times. So you know, there's something to be said for a good job versus owning a business. You know, people that work for a major company like an uh, electric company or a town municipality, or well, if you even have a good job with good benefits and good retirement plan. In a lot of cases, you're far better off. And you can always do a side gig for side money. You know, if you're good with woodwork and you can get a project and make some extra money. In our case, if you're into pipe restorations, you can make a little extra there. Uh, when you own your own business, you know, my paycheck is not guaranteed at the end of the week. So yes, owning a business has some fringe benefits, but it also takes a lot out of you. And I'm not complaining, I'm just stating the facts. Anyway, I'm going to go pick up my prescription, and I'll catch you.